Welcome to the video. This is the Kagala Beach which is one of the longest beaches in Sri Lanka. This is not only a long beach but also a beautiful beach. Since ancient times, the beach sen industry is a traditional fishing industry that has existed in this coastal area. Today's video is dedicated to this endangered traditional fishing industry. This fishing method involves using a large net called the beach sen to catch fish from the shallow waters near the shore. The gear is composed of a bag-like part, and two long wings often lengthened with long ropes for towing the sen to the beach. The bag-like part can be separated from the main net once the fish is caught. The head rope with floats is on the surface, the foot rope with weights is in permanent contact with the bottom, and the sen is, therefore, a barrier that prevents the fish from escaping from the area enclosed by the net. Because of this setting, the net stays straight from the seabed to the surface as a barrier. It minimizes the chances of the fish escaping the net. As the beach sen is gradually pulled ashore, the fish become trapped in a bag-like part at the end of the net. In the past, traditional wooden vessels called Mardal Paru were used to carry these long beach sens. The special feature of these vessels is the flattened bottom with a greater width. It is to carry long nets without any entanglement. Due to the increased width in the bottom, the vessel can withstand against capsizing. So these vessels do not have an outrigger like the other canoes. There were two such traditional vessels in the Kagala area, and both were destroyed in the tsunami disaster in 2005. As it is very expensive to build and difficult to maintain, fishermen use this canoe as a replacement for that presently. But they can only carry shorter beach sends than old beach sends. Therefore, the yield available is also relatively low. The period from May to October of the year is the southwest monsoon season for this area. At that time, the winds are high, and the sea is very rough. The rough sea carries sand from the beach. Then the beach is limited to a narrow belt. The beach sen fishing cannot be done at this period. Fishermen switch to other fishing methods, and some enter the Kagala Lagoon fishery. The southwest monsoon season ends by November, and the sea returns to its normal phase. The sand carried by the waves is brought back to shore and forms a wide, long beach naturally. The long shoreline formed will facilitate the beach sen fishing industry in the Kagala area from November to April. 
Operations of beach sends are limited to some shallow coastal areas in Sri Lanka. Nets cannot be operated in areas with such coral-rich seabed. For that, there should be areas with such a smooth seabed with a nearly uniform depth without huge barriers. If not, the beach sends may get stuck in obstacles and not be pulled ashore. There should be many fish in that specific area. The beach sen is a multi-species fishing gear that can catch a large number of fish species. The most commonly caught fish in the Kagala area are spotted sardinella, big eye scad, anchovies, blue stripe herrings, and trevelis. Fishermen can earn a very high income when they catch trevelis. Squids are also caught. This method can be used to catch the fish in the water body and the fish in the bottom too. Fishermen who gather to the beach, load the sen into the canoe. The loading should be done systematically. Otherwise, it won't be easy to draw the sen in the sea. Once the boat and gear are ready, an experienced fisherman climbs up to an attic and observes the sea. Variations in the color of the sea help to understand the movements of the fish. An experienced fisherman can accurately tell the fish species names by observing the dark spots caused by them. The presence of sea tern is also a sign that there is an inevitable herd of fish. In Kagala, this message is conveyed to the fishermen by the great crested terns. As soon as the person at the top of the attic observes the signs of a herd of fish, he informs the fishermen on the beach. Then the fishermen set out to launch the canoe. A fisherman holds one end of the sen on the beach, and then the sen is carried to the sea.
Seven fishermen are involved in the activities of this vessel. The other end of the Seine is given to another fisherman on the beach at the end of the drawing. Now both ends of the Seine are held by two groups of fishermen on the beach, and the Seine surrounds the herd of fish. The two groups of fishermen pull the Seine ashore separately. Sometimes another small canoe is used to operate the send. This is how the small canoe works with the beach send operation. As the Seine approaches the shore, the two netting teams move closer together. Because the Seine is close to the shore, the small canoe that operated the Seine also reaches the shore.
This is the Sen bag, which is separated from the main Sen. Fish are retained in the Sen bag. As mentioned earlier, a ray was also caught this time. Fish caught from the beach sends are often sold directly as raw fish. Many years ago, when fish such as herrings were caught in abundance, fishermen were drawn to produce other popular fish products. Among them, Kagala marinated fish, which is locally called as jadi, is special. Fresh fish should be thoroughly cleaned first to prepare marinated fish. These fish are washed in seawater too. Then fish are packed in wooden barrels with dried garcinia and salt. This method and the beach sen bear South Indian origin. If the lid does not close the wooden barrel well, the fish will deteriorate. Therefore, the preparation of the lid should be done carefully. Here is the taste Kagala marinated fish. Smoked fish is another fish product that can be made using fresh fish from the beach sen. The fragrant smoke from the cinnamon woods, growing around the Kagala area, leads the fish to a mouth-watering taste. Due to the good sunshine on the long beach, the dried fish can be produced during the high season. The research facts and video clips that I have collected alone over the years are brought here as a video to make a note to the whole world prior to the traditional beach sen fishing industry leaves the Kagala area forever. Thanks for watching.